Greetings, everyone, and welcome to a special Timey Wimey Tuesday Doctor Who update video. Yeah, so this time around, I picked up another Blu ray collection and an audio adventure collection. Ah, oh, what could it be? There's quite a lot of those. Well, let's find out today on Timey Wimey Tuesday on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Alrighty, so first up, this one I'm sure will come as no surprise to you because uh, as most of you will know, I've been collecting all the other ones as they come out. I picked up John Pertwee, The Complete Season 2. Yes, so this is Season 8 overall of the uh, classic series. And uh, this is a notable series in that this is the one that introduced the Master. Yes, played by the wonderful Roger Delgado. So this set contains uh, five stories. So this was a 25-episode season. Uh, so we have Terror of the Autons, The Mind of Evil, The Claws of Axos, Colony in Space, and The Demons. And it has uh, piles and piles of special features carried over from the old DVD releases, as well as lots of new special features as well. Um, it also includes updated special effects for Terror of the Autons, and also a 90-minute omnibus movie edit version of The Demons, which is pretty cool. It also contains The Vampire from Space, which is a new extended edit of the opening episode of The Claws of Axos. Uh, some of you may know The Vampire from Space was the original title of that one, and it was changed afterwards. And then all kinds of additional uh, interviews and extras, making of documentaries. Um, got five more Behind the Sofa segments, which you know I love. And uh, yeah, so we'll do a full uh, in-depth closer look at this at some point. Um, as you know, I've been doing the, well, just last week I did one actually about two of the other sets. So uh, there is another Blu-ray set coming out, uh, specifically this one here, Sylvester McCoy, The Complete Season 1. So this is Season 24 overall of the uh, classic series and Sylvester McCoy's debut season as The Doctor. Um, I think this one just came out in uh, the UK. Uh, but as you know, the uh, North American releases are a little delayed here. So we're not getting the Sylvester McCoy set over here until September. But I've already got it pre-ordered, so I'll be getting it basically as soon as it comes out. So I did take a quick skim through the uh, episodes on this set. I was kind of curious how the quality would look. Because um, if you know anything about the, the history of the missing episodes and whatnot, uh, a lot of the early John Pertwee stories were sadly part of the BBC's junking that went on in the early 70s. They didn't lose the episodes entirely. They still had them as black and white film recordings that were used for overseas sales and whatnot, but they no longer existed in their original full color, uh, full resolution, uh, PAL format uh, broadcast masters. So a lot of those had been lost. But uh, they did manage to recover some NTSC broadcast masters and some fan recordings and were able to use that, uh, the color information from those, and marry it with the higher resolution film recordings and do kind of an amalgamated recolorization of a lot of them. Now they've redone those several times over the years as new color restoration techniques have become available, such as one called Chroma Dot Recovery, where they can actually take visual information from the film recordings, and depending on the dot patterns in the gray shading, they can determine what the original colors were. It's crazy. So with a combination of that, and recovering color from NTSC recordings, and the handful of existing masters that they do have in the full PAL resolution and color, um, plus doing some manual recoloring and then running it through vidfire to give it the video look for the studio scenes and just 
it's ridiculous how much work went into the restoration of these to bring them back to life in their full, as close as possible, their full glorious color that they would have been in back in the day. And one of the big things about se early 70s Doctor Who is it was when the BBC first went to color. So it's kind of important to have those in color. I mean, not just to see them as they were originally broadcast, but it's also historically significant in the history of BBC television. So anyway, um, I was curious to see how those looked. And needless to say, because of the widely varied source material for these episodes, the quality is widely varied. Um, I have to say, though, Terror of the Autons, I don't know if they found new masters or they just did, like, incredible color recovery on it, but it looks amazing. I've never seen Terror of the Autons look as good as it does on this. It's just fantastic. Uh, the Demons looks noticeably better than it did uh, in, in the old VHS release for example, where they originally recolored it, and then they improved it again for the DVD. They seem to have improved it yet again for the Blu-ray. Uh, Mind of Evil looks a little rough, but it's still quite good. Claws of Axos probably has the best surviving elements. They found some of the original studio footage tapes, so they're able to do, like, full restoration of some of the episodes using first-generation studio masters, which is great. Um, and I think they also found the earlier edit of uh, the Vampire in Space, and uh, yeah, and then some of the other episodes I think they recovered from NTSC masters and just did some reverse standards conversion. Uh, the Colony in Space they I think only had as a reverse standards conversion and then applied the color from that to the film prints. But um, interestingly enough, as a bonus on this, they have a disc that contains the full unrestored reverse standards conversion version of the story so you can see it basically in uh, taken from that NTSC broadcast master uh, unretouched unaltered um, in just kind of all its original NTSC broadcast quality basically so it's not as good as the PAL originals but it's uh, it's still quite good so if you want to see it in as close as possible to its original broadcast form that is an option or if you want to see the uh, sort of reconstructed version from all the available best quality elements that's on here as well so all in all I'm actually really impressed with the job they did on this because these th this was a pretty gutsy season to do um, for Blu-ray because of the variance in quality uh, of the the source elements but I have to say it looks fantastic and honestly I think this is as good as these stories are ever gonna look I can't really see them pulling much more quality out of the existing elements um, if you go to the Doctor Who restoration team's website um, they have full archives of all the restoration they did for these stories over the years uh, some some going back to the VHS days but mostly uh, for the DVD releases, and they give a pretty detailed account of how they restored the color in a lot of these early uh, Third Doctor stories. It's really fascinating reading, um, and they, they break it all down quite well, so even if you're not particularly technically inclined, you still kind of get the gist of, of the process and really gain a deeper appreciation for just how much work went into these releases. So, let's put this in the collection where it belongs, shall we? So that would go right between Spearhead, my Spearhead from Space Blu-ray and the Season 10 Blu-ray. And there we go. That's every North American release to date right there. So we've got Season 8, 10, 12, uh, 14, 18, uh, 19, 23, and 26. So we're getting there. We're right there. So we got well one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got full eight seasons there, and a ninth one on the way. So next up, the second big item I got. I've had my eye on this for quite a while, and uh, I've been wanting to start collecting some of the audio dramas for a very long time, but they're uh, they're expensive, especially if you want to get them on CD, like in physical form. You can get the downloadable versions fairly cheap, but I I want to have them on my shelf. You know, I've got a few that. Uh, Longtime viewer Michael the Collector 98 sent my way, and I'm very grateful for that. But uh, I wanted to start collecting them myself as well. So, um, Tom Baker was my doctor growing up, and uh, I think he'll always be my doctor. I mean, I love all the doctors, but I have a special affection for Tom Baker because he was my first doctor, and the uh, stories that I rewatched the most. 
um, as a kid and as a young adult. So um, he, of course, has started doing quite a few audio adventures through Big Finish. But right before doing the audio adventures for Big Finish, he did some for BBC Audio. And um, they were all released in collections and as individual releases and such. And then once they were all done, they put out a definitive collection of all 15 stories that he did, entitled The Nest Cottage Chronicles. So in this story, uh, basically he teams up with Mike Yates, played by Richard Franklin once again, um, which is interesting because the fourth Doctor never actually met Mike Yates in the original series. Uh, he was uh, only in the third Doctor's era. So, um, so it's interesting to see the two of them together. And then uh, there's other characters that uh, are introduced in this as well. He has a, a housekeeper uh, named Mrs. Wibsey, who uh, becomes kind of a, a companion for a few of the stories. And uh, so basically what this uh, entails is the Doctor is kind of taking a bit of a vacation from going on adventures through time and space. But of course, wherever the Doctor goes, trouble is sure to find him. So he sets up base in this uh, country cottage that he calls The Nest, hence The Nest Cottage Chronicles. And so what this is, is this is three interconnected story arcs. There's five stories in each story arc, so 15 stories total, and they all encompass this, this whole Nest Cottage uh, story. Um, so each story is just a, a fairly short one. It's about 70 minutes, one CD, and, uh, and that's that. Now, these are not quite full cast audio dramas in the same way that the Big Finish audio dramas are. They're kind of in between an audio book and a full audio drama. Now, there is, you know, a decent sized cast for each one. There's, of course, um, Tom Baker as the Doctor, Richard Franklin as Mike Yates, and Susan Jameson as Mrs. Wibsey. And there's quite a few um, other actors that uh, show up as well. Just reading off the back here, we also have Michael Maloney, Rula Lenska, Samuel West, Jan Francis, David Troughton, Michael Jaston, Simon Shepard, Sophie Ward, Andrew Sachs, Neris Hughes, and many others. But the way the story is presented is in almost a narrative form. Now, there are scenes with dialogue between characters, like if they're sitting in the same room talking to each other. But a lot of it is done in narrated form, where one of the characters will be telling another character about something that happened or something. So, But the interesting thing is there's no narrator for the story. The stories are all... It's all narrated by the characters in character. So, you know, the Doctor does a lot of the narration, for example, and so, hey, we get to hear lots of Tom Baker's epic voice, and there's certainly nothing wrong with that. So, um, yeah, it's kind of an interesting format. So it's almost, I mean, there is sound effects and music as well, so it's like very close to being a full cast audio drama, but with a slightly smaller cast. But that said, I'm really enjoying the stories so far. I've been kind of listening to them while I've been scheduling YouTube videos and stuff like that. Just kind of the, the boring grunt work of being a content creator. This has really helped to uh, relieve the monotony, just listening to these wonderful stories. So if we just take a look inside, it's basically just a big honking spindle with all 16 discs on it. But uh, if we take a look here, I'll just kind of see if I can show you. We do have uh, individual disc art for each story, which is quite nice. Very nice disc art, too, i got to say. So these were actually, this was the cover art for the individual releases. So yeah, they released all 15 of these individually, originally. But uh, there's another thing that's kind of notable about this, and that is... This is the first time that Tom Baker like did a proper uh, reprise of his role as the Doctor. I mean, he'd done a few like short things, like you know, Dimensions in Time. He appeared briefly as the Doctor at the beginning, and he did a few sound bites for the Destiny of the Doctor CD-ROM game in the '90s. But this was the first time he'd actually sat down in character as the Doctor and done new adventures as the Doctor. So this is kind of historically significant, especially for Tom Baker fans. So then there's a 16th disc that's all bonus material. So we just kind of go through it all real quick here. 
So you have all 15 stories. So it's three story arcs. We have Hornet's Nest, Demon Quest, and Serpent Cr Serpent Crest. <laughs> Sorry, a bit of a tongue twister there. But, um, and they're all written by Paul Mars. That's M-A-G-R-S. But, uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. It's a, it's a different, slightly different format than what I'm used to, but, uh, but quite entertaining. The stories are quite good and really do feel like classic Doctor Who. The bonus material on uh, disc 16, uh, you've got some in-studio stuff uh, for all three story arcs. The Doctor Sings, I'm guessing Tom Baker just bursting into song randomly. Uh, you got audio trailers for all three story arcs, four promotional shorts for Hornet's Nest, Tom Baker in conversation with Michael Stevens from the September 1st, uh, 2009, and Tom Baker in his own words for Demon Quest, which is taken from a video recording, apparently. So, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So the best part of it is, um, you know, the big Finnish audio dramas can be quite expensive, sometimes as much as 50, 60 bucks for a couple of story arcs. Uh, this was $50 for the entire set. $50 Canadian, I should say, for the entire set. So it's an incredible value and far cheaper than getting all of the uh, stories individually. Plus, it's 15 hours of Tom Baker. I mean, come on. How can you go wrong? So shortly after he did this, apparently he bumped into uh, Nicholas Briggs at a convention and they got to talking. And, uh, well, the rest is history. Ever since then, he's been doing regular audio dramas with Big Finish. He's done about ten seasons worth with, I don't know, about three or four more seasons worth in the works right now. Um, so, very, very cool stuff. So, I wanted to get that one first because that was kind of Tom Baker's big return to the character. And then uh, I figure going forward, I'll start... Uh... There we go. Uh, going forward, I'll start collecting the Big Finish uh, sets. I expect that's going to take forever because they're expensive and I'm not made of money. But um, eh, I figure I'll get one or two here and there and then eventually I'll have all of them. So, um, cool. I look forward to it. More Adventures of the Fourth Doctor. Great stuff. Gotta love it. Alrighty, well that is it for this update. Hope you enjoy. Uh, be sure to tune in next Tuesday for another Closer Look. What's it going to be? Well, you have to tune in and find out. I'm not going to tell you. That would ruin the surprise. It's like a Doctor Who cliffhanger. What's going to happen next? So that's it for me to you for now. So, as always, if you'd like to add either of these items to your collection, I will include Amazon links in the description. Big thanks to those of you who use my Amazon links because it does support the show pretty directly, and I really, really appreciate that a lot. So thank you very much. Uh, big thanks to you for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to catch me on Twitch. I stream just about every day, and I will see you next time. Until then, sayonara.